So friends, we all know how to do back muscle exercises. That is, the point is to move your arms back. And here you make a movement so that, for example, your shoulder blades move. This all trains the muscles between the shoulder blades. To train the trapezius, it seems like the same exercise, but you need to have your hand a bit higher. You could say that the level at which your elbow is, that's the level at which the muscles will work. That is, if the elbow is down, the muscles that are below the shoulder blade are working. Or on the middle part of the shoulder blade, the broadest rhomboid. In order for the trapezius to start working, the hands need to be at least here. That is, it already works in this position. That is, if I, for example, try to bring my shoulder blades together when my hands are down, right here. That is, in this position, the muscle will work more right here, in this part. Between the shoulder blades, a little lower, the latissimus dorsi there a bit, rhomboid. To train this part of the trapezius, I need my hands to be right here. And in this position, for example, I need to bring my hands together and apart. This part will be functional, but this is also not what we need. In order for this particular part of the trapezius, which is weakening to work, my hands need to be elbows. They should be about at the level of the ear, that is, in this position. Even if I hold my hands behind my head like this, this part still doesn't work. It still works here. In order for the part that usually weakens the most lagging muscle to work, which is located here, the upper trapezius, I need my hands to be above my ear. That is this position here. If my hands will be up and in this position, I will try to make a movement with my hands back. If higher, the trapezius will work better, but very often the volume of this movement is somehow limited. So it's better to start with an exercise that almost everyone can do. In general, you lie down on your stomach like this. Here you need something like a roller, some object. And you put your hands on it. You can put your head like this. You can put it like that. There's no difference here. Whatever is comfortable. You put your palms on this thing, on the object, and start lifting your elbows here. So you've lifted your elbows and you're pushing with your palms on this thing. Lifted the elbows, lowered, lifted, lowered. And right here is where your trapezius will be strained. It's better to start with the position where your hands are slightly closer to your head. And in this position, you lift. You try to lift your elbow above your head, above your ear. In this position, you try to hold it a little bit. It's starting to work. You can move this thing a little further away now. And in this position, you also try to lift, lower, lift, lower. You will feel exactly when the trapezius muscle there is strained. Then even further, that is, you are practically trying to straighten your arms and in this position, lift your elbow. After you've been doing this for a few days, for example, it's already starting to come easily. You can already do this movement. You can already try it in motion. That is, you can raise your elbows here above your ear. And here you can try to move them. Shift this object back and forth. If you have these rollers for massage, it's very convenient to make this movement with them. That is, to slide along it. If not, you can just move it back and forth with your hand. And later, when your muscle is more or less strengthened, you can make this movement without touching this thing. That is, it's very important that your hand moves above your ear. That is, at first it won't rise, it will move here. Then, as you strengthen this, your hands will start to move more freely here. And you move them back and forth. In this way, you strengthen the trapezius. But this is a fairly complex exercise. It's hard to do it right away. But if you can do it, you can consider your trapezius to be in a fairly good condition, but very often they won't even lift up there. Here's the second option. It's easier, but you can combine and do both. You stand with your back to the wall, stand so that your elbows touch the wall behind you here, and you start to raise your hands, raise, raise, raise them up. And you try to raise them in such a way that even at the highest point, you try to touch the wall with your elbows anyway. And you lower them down. And you first do this movement near the wall, and then after it more or less starts to work out, you try to do it without the wall. 
In this exercise, you initially stand in such a way that only your elbows touch the wall, nothing else. And here you start to lift. For example, don't lift any higher for now until you need to lower it down. Then they gradually become a little higher. They lift a little higher. That is, it might not work out right away from the top here. When you will be doing this movement without the wall later, so that your elbow is exactly behind you, you try to put your palm on top here when your palm is with your palm. They kind of connect. Try to turn it outwards here. When you turn it, your elbow starts to turn back here. So it's very important that you can do this movement freely. Then the trapezius will hold the arm well during the movement. This is an exercise for the trapezius muscles. There are also muscles that lift the scapula. We'll also do exercises for them sometime. Even more exercises, if you want to master, they are available via the link in the description.